Oops! To survive this war, you'll need two things. First, a basic set of skills. Second, the good GD sense to do whatever is necessary. I can teach you the first. The second's up to you. Fourth Army of the Third Republic. Oh yeah, and this is like during, uh... Jeez, my ears! It's like a World War One setting. Hold on. Before we follow the trench... Good grief, that blew my eardrums out. Hold on, I gotta... Adjust audio over here. <laughs> that was so loud. For me. The rendezvous. Bring out or away the gun? I've got a gun! Oh, we've got leaning and aiming? Okay. Very different uh, amnesia experience. Or I immediately have a gun. Oh no. How many bullets do you got? Okay. How do I reload? Oh boy. The reloading is so methodical. Oh no. Put this on my head. I'm going to need it. That just insta-kills me. Gotta restart the game. Oh no. <laughs> I forgot how, like, picking up and grabbing everything works in, in Amnesia 2. Knock knock. Oh, do I actually need to break through this? Yeah! Good grief. Freaking superhuman strength. I'm jacked. built different. Yeah. Ooh. Some bullets. Hey, what's up, Lock? Oh! How's it going, brother? Go, go, go. Yeah. Please! Oh my goodness. <laughs> You've been injured. Hold tab to see how bad it is. Ah, my leg. It's a lot of blood. These are some interesting game systems. To see how bad it is. Ay! You've bonked your head. See how bad the damage is. Oh no. Uh, not much. Just watching Summer Game Fest. Sorry you had to watch it. <laughs> I wish I didn't. Oh, I gotta open this. Uh, what do I have to throw against this? I just slam my own head into it? Is this even locked, or am I just dumb at opening this door? It is locked. Okay. Eh. Yeah. How do I get through there, then? Oh. Put it can be used for crafting. Pick up the other cloth piece. Uh, come on the two cloth items to form a bandage. I see. There's my bloody hand. Nope, didn't mean to drop it. Oh no. 
Oh, I dra- Oh, I see, I see. Uh, use assigned hotkey when equipped. Hold down that to use. Okay. This is so methodical. Uh, more things I found interesting than I thought. Yeah, that for me the halfway point of the show towards the end was a absolute snooze fest. Is there like a lock on this door that I open or what? Am I just not going this way? Marty lost. Marty lost help. Oh, a saw me. Oh. I thought this was like a usable... Okay, maybe we just go back out. Let's just go back outside. Okay, I guess not. Am I just being stupid with this door, or... Oh, a grenade. Grenade. Oh, my ears. My ears. R being to put away the gun and not to reload is going to be a problem. It's going to be a real problem. Oh no. Nine. Oh, was that a grenade? Are there just grenades bouncing? Gr oh, it's gas. Oh, it's gas. I gotta go. Up. Oh, I'm dead. No, oh, there's gas. Help. Help. Hold tab to see if you're dying from gas. My boy. I think my face is like already melted. I think it's too late. I think the the mask is fusing to my face already. <laughs> Beat that roll, my friend. I can't. I'm blind. There you have it, huh? Ah, fate's a bastard. I'm on patrol tonight, then. C'est la vie. We didn't want to animate this part, so we gave you gas vision. I'm just in no man's land. I don't want to be here. Why am I here? Oh, I'm out on patrol, huh? Gas vision. They can't show me this part or oh, wee wee. Oh, my boy. Drink this. Then I'm going to get you out of here. My sweet boy. I love staring at this instead of cutscenes. I'll 
get you back to safety. Just I guess they, they they probably did have a lower budget for this game because I I think this is like a twenty five or thirty dollar game. Uh oh. Nine. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. I think I need to turn. Oh, turn V sync on. There's screen Terry. Oh, he's dead. They killed my boy. My sweet boy. You are now on your own. Learn, adapt, experiment, and survive. Uh-huh, okay. Uh, John, did you make your mind up about Diablo 4? Uh, not really. I've heard some things about sort of the late game and how, um, how the, uh, enemy scaling and stuff works, and it sounds kind of, kind of mad to me, so. Like, all the stuff I played during the beta was great, but... It sounds like once you uh, get higher levels and sort of explore more of the map and stuff that it, it scales weird. The items don't really give you much of a boost. It's just sort of this like very gradual kind of progression that doesn't sound super interesting to me. So, uh, the notes time of your inventory. Go really hit picked up the outcome is flashing. Okay, hydrate. Soldat Clement admitted to medical treatment following events of uh, July 9th. Personal effects held in the storage locker. Patient remains in weak coma state. Will respond to stimuli, but only for brief periods of time. When last roused, he reported no memory of recent events. Had trouble recalling even his own name, most likely due to severity of initial head trauma. Will continue to monitor. If status does not improve in a week's time, recommend transfer to St. Et Etienne for neurological test. Signed, Dr. Josinski. Yeah, out of the two of them, I'd probably end up playing uh, PoE2. Get in on PoE2 before it gets insanely complicated, like PoE. Bring out or away the flashlight. Hold F to charge the flashlight. Be careful not to make too much noise. <laughs> oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. I miss PoE2 stuff? Not very much. They didn't show a whole lot. One piece of gear that's better than what you have doesn't feel like a noticeable bump in power. Yeah. See, that just seems. But, I mean, I don't know, it seems like people are really loving it, but I'm not, like, you know, a massive uh, Diablo fan. Like, I've never really played uh, any of the other ones, so. If I was sort of already in the, you know, like, ecosystem of the franchise, I'd probably be more interested, but. I thought that was a body hanging from the ceiling. Can I crawl through these? Freaking rat holes. Hmm. 
No. I think I'm trying to get to my storage locker too, though. Unless I missed something. God, that's so dark. Alright, I need to open this, huh? Get a key for this or break it. It's probably the main way forward. Oh, here we go. I didn't come in here. All photos you pick up can be found under the photos tab of your inventory. Oh, okay. Great. Body of Sergeant Rayner, multiple lacerations, chest cavity torn to shreds, every rib cracked, skull cracked open by repeated blunt force trauma. Who could have done this to him? Just a normal, normal guy, I think. It's a teaser before Exalcon. I only replayed three and I loved it despite everyone I know hating it. Yeah, yeah, three I think was a lot of people coming from like one and two hated three. Play one and two when I was a kid, enjoyed it quite a lot, but I think I liked Titan Quest back then more. I've never seen a whole lot of Titan Quest. Oh. What did I pick up? Fuel? Oh, great. I don't want to turn around. I feel like there's something behind me. Hey! Jeez. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was the chair. I pushed it into a drawer. I'm being too casual about this game. We're having c casual conversations in chat. I'm being way too just like... Jeez. I'm being way too loosey-goosey. I think this is back where I started, huh? Oh, I can shut up. No, that's not what I mean. I just mean, we're just like chatting and I'm walking around in the dark, it's gonna like come back, I'm gonna get spooked. I'm gonna get spooked real bad here soon, I'm sure. When the remaster came out, I hated it. The remaster for two. Because you're a brave boy. I'm the bravest fella. I don't know where I'm going though, I got fuel. I don't need to go through the locked door. Just need to keep exploring, I guess, until we find some connections here. Oh my! Okay. That's fun. This door just opens? Did I just fail to open that earlier? Are you real? Are you a real guy? Are you a real guy or a ghost? Tell me right now. Oh. Oh. You want to escape. Ah. It's coming for me. Here, take this. Take your cigarette? Oh, your God. I want to die at the hands of a border soldier, not that monster. I kind of got to save the ammo. There's ammo in the pantry. Get it. Do the job, please. Did I just pick up freaking flesh? What was that? What did I get? Just meat. Expired meat should not be consumed by soldiers. Better used to attract rodents and other bunker pests can be thrown. I'm going, guy. Freaking relax, man. 
He's gonna be dead by the time I get back. Guaranteed. I only got two two bullets, man. One for you, one for me. Watch. Look how this is framed. <laughs> what? Huh? You mean he got he got grabbed before I got back? Huh? What? That's crazy. Oh, I'm going to get grabbed through these holes, huh? I'm going to get grabbed through these holes, huh? Baldur's Gate did look good. <laughs> Hold on, I got I got I got to turn up my audio. Hold on. I got to be able to hear what's coming. I've got everything way too quiet. <laughs> oh, I moved that chair. early light I don't know if this is how I open this door please turn the light on please turn the light on please turn the light on please turn the light oh that was the sound of the flashlight it scared me Hey, man. Oh, I can lock the doors behind me. Oh, that's nice. I can create, like, little safe rooms for myself, I guess. Important when processing deceased soldiers, please check the reverse side of their ID tags for any messages, symbols, or locker codes. A little on the nose. These will be wiped clean before the tag is preserved and recorded. Oh, this is a safe room, I guess, huh? With the chest. Use this box for storing things from your inventory. This is part of what I saw where it felt like kind of resident evilly. Where you had like your storage box for items. Uh, uh, update to all medical and mortuary personnel. The rat problem has gotten, has not gotten any better. They're swarming every dead body. They're even coming after the wounded. But the vermin have no interest in flesh after it is burnt. So a new policy must be instituted. The bodies of all deceased soldiers must be burned. I've spoken to Father Derai about this matter. He'll provide proper consecration for the deceased. Remains will be preserved for the families. This is not ideal, and it fills my soul with pain. But burning the dead seems to be the only way to stop the rats from coming. So burn them we must. Why is his hand doing that? <laughs> I don't know why he's posed his hand like that. It's just so you can see your your health. Your hand is your health meter, but I don't know why he's got to have it in the crooked. Because existence is pain. That's why. Only horror audio that still messes with me is when you hit the hit the prison in Outlast. It still makes me jump. I've never played Outlast, but I, I've watched. I've watched playthroughs of it. Save your progress by lighting this lamp. Ah. Oh, that's so. Oh, the safe room has. Oh, yes. Uh, 
Uh, flashlight, cloth, meat. I'll put this in this. Oh, yes. I guess there was no, um... Photos, notes. There was no code on the back of that ID tag, so... I guess we're good. Usually with thumbs up. Everything's okay. Uh, let's see here. This is the main map of the bunker. It'll be updated with objectives and details as you progress. Oh, the map's too big. Um, okay, so I'm heading to the generator room from here. Sick room, medical storage, strategic operations. There's a prison, soldier headquarters, arsenal, and maintenance. Ay, 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 ay. All right, to the generator as my light goes out. You can power the generator by filling it with fuel and pulling the lever. I do have fuel. I'm going to look around the room first, though. Warning, generator fuel is extremely flammable. Do not light any fires near the fuel. Do not fire any weapons near the fuel. For God's sake, do not even smoke your cigarettes near it. Store it, store it only in sturdy metal canisters. Glass breaks far too easily. If it spills, wipe the area clean immediately, then dispose of the rags outside of the bunker. Yeah, I'm sure the prison's going to be... Going to be... Haha, <laughs> it's going to be great. Does this fuel stack? Yeah, no. Okay. Pocket watch with stopwatch functionality can be synced with the generator to time how much fuel remains. Ah. Oh, dead guy. Uh, five five. Is that a? F is that a five? Five five eight zero. Uh, any code? Oh, it writes down the code as well. Okay. So much fuel. Uh, take out. Wow, that was nothing. They gave me a lot of fuel because each canister has basically nothing in it. Oh, the lights. I'm liking, like, all the gameplay systems that are in this game so far are really cool. Uh... Five... Five... Eight... Zero. Game. Relax. Use your wits in your brain. Experiment. If you think something might be possible to do, it probably is. Jeez. I've seen another human for hours now. I might be the last, but in the hope that there might be another, I leave this now so you do not waste any time. This is the only exit, the only way out of this hell of our own making. It was blown closed, it needs to be blown open. Don't bother digging, impossible. Blow it up. The dynamite is locked in the arsenal. The detonator handle is somewhere down in the Roman tunnels? Deeper in hell. I go now to try to retrieve them both, though I do not know if you exist. I pray for you, please extend me the same courtesy. So we need to go to the arsenal, and then the detonator is down in the tunnels. Okay. You just found a new objective. Just to be marked on your maps, and notes containing objectives will be highlighted in the notes list. Okay. At least they try to make it fairly easy to be able to keep up with what your objective is. I feel like they know they're like, there's a lot going on, so. I. Let's not do that.
maybe keep that on. That's I don't want to deal with that. I would assume turning on lights is going to use up more... It's going to lead to more fuel consumption. Look at all these hiding spots, dude. Look at all these little alcoves to hide in. Uh, oh, there's a lockdown. Okay. So we need to open that. Officer... Qu Pfft. What was that? Oh, jeez. What's that sound? <laughs> Close the door. Lock me in. Oh, you can turn off all the lights, too. To any who find this, Fournier. Our commanding off Fournier, our commanding officer, cowers next to me now. He's lost his mind to an abyss of fear. He repeats the same refrain over and over. Flee, flee. We must flee and seal the beast where it belongs. He wants to run to blow up the exit behind him, sealing the demon down here, the demon and our men. His constant refrain it is getting to me uh, in that same void of terror. It is also overtaking me. To any of my men who see this, once we're free of this place, I will get the arsenal code from him. I will get it and we'll ready it back to you. Trapped down here with that beast, the arsenal may be your only hope. It's all I can do, all I have courage to do. Get to the communications room in the soldier quarters. Hide there, I'll broadcast the code to you. Get to the communications room in the soldier quarters. Okay. Little jumpy? No. No. 14th of July, 1916. Night. Strange scratching sounds a few moments ago, and now it sounds like someone is pacing in the hallway. Probably Raynard, drunk on the stash of wine I knew he hides from us. Best I confront him now. Either get him into bed to sleep it off or convince him to share a bottle or two with me. 15th of July, 1916. Cold fear runs through all our veins now. Fournier has terrorized the men for answers. Has terrorized the men for answers? They say they were asleep until Raynard screams. I believe them, of course. Fournier went so far as to accuse prisoner 73014 of escaping his cell and committing the murder. Impossible. I worry about Fournier. His rage hides fear. Fournier, fear. He takes it out on the men, uh, and I see no way to stop it. It breeds contempt. My mind slips back to the moment Rainer starts screaming how easily it could uh, it could have been me, how easily it still could be. For the first time, I wish the order to attack would come. I'd rather face a thousand German guns than this nameless dread. Yikes. Oh, yikes. Turn that light back on. Cool. Why am I playing this? Why did I... It's fine. That sound is totally fine by me. Oh my... <sighs> it's so dark. It's so dark. Come here, you son of a... <laughs> Get back to the light hallway. Uh, maintenance. Officer quarters. I've got to go to the soldier quarters, right? Not the officer quarters. Infirmary. I don't know that I want to go in here. This also feels bad. I think I'm taking these corners too fast.
These hallways are too long. Oh, there's scratches on the walls. Oh, I'm all the way back to... I'm, like, back to where I came from, huh? That's right, going back to the infirmary is where I was. Uh, that's going to come back to bite me. That's going to be in my way. Officer's quarters. Okay, soldier's quarters. Soldier's quarters this way. Wait, was I going to soldier's quarters or to... Communications in soldier's quarters, right. Right, right, right. Right. I done went and broke it. Oh. oh no. <sighs> Mission storage communications, prison, soldiers' quarters. Oh, looks like I'm heading. Heading that way to get to the, uh... Get, oh no, this is just the full exit. So I need to find... Find a new, uh... New wheel for that. Uh... Personal... I guess we'll head up to officer's quarters. Maybe we'll find something... We'll find something that way. Oh yeah, to maintenance, that makes sense. Good grief, man. That's armed with a frag! I can't disarm that? Glad I saw that. This is to hide in, huh? <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> After a raid of last evening, we had in custody some 20 German soldiers from the 4th Reserve Corps of the 2nd Army. This puts our cells past capacity. With one exception, I re recommend they be shipped to the camps as soon as feasible. Prisoner I would like to hold before capture. He ripped his rank and insignia from his uniform. So his rank remains unknown. Since capture, he has refused to say a word. I suspect he may be an officer or other important person. I believe once removed from his men, we can break him. Please advise. Haha, <laughs> who spilled their jam on the table? Haha. <laughs> Ah ha ha ha. Great, thanks. Love when there's nothing in there. Balls, 
Jesus, man. <sighs> Open it! God, this flashlight sucks. Please shut the door, I'm scared. After Trimley's death, the bunker descended into chaos. I've retaken control and ordered the men to form up in squads. They're to hunt the beast down and kill it. They tell me it's not possible. They tell me the bullets don't kill it. They only buy a little time and the beast comes back angrier. <laughs> Naturally. Cowards. Sent them back out now to do uh, as they should. Hunt and kill it. If they fail, they'll face a worse fate than claws in the darkness. No, I think they're going to get ripped apart. By the beast. I've ordered increased security for the arsenal. Lock and lock and code, and I will root out these responsible for this horrendous act. Justice will be done for France. Wee oui, wee. Oui. That's a not cool sound. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, please shut the door. What am I doing? There's no lock. There's no lock on the door. There's no lock on the door. Please move this. A bottle is infinitely, infinitely, all oh, the. Was that an alarm or was that just a bottle infinitely rolling around the room? I think it heard me do that. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Ooh Get out. Hello? Get- I can't go out this way? I have to go from the front of the- Oh my- Get out of the table! Oh my- Oh my- Oh my- Oh, oh my- Oh my- Oh my- Please. Please. Oh, I unlocked it. Why did I do that? Oh, I got an inventory upgrade. Great.
I'm now putting into writing what I have reported to both my immediate superiors. Last evening, 14th of May, I was assigned to aid the engineers in mapping the Roman tunnels. As I entered the deepest area of the tunnels, I noticed strange glowing liquids strange glowing liquid seeping from the walls. When I turned around, the walls of the tunnels themselves were suddenly gone, and I was standing in a vast plain of darkness. In the distance, there was a sickly light that seemed to be calling me forward. Between it and me, malformed shadows moved. I blinked again. It was gone. I was back in the tunnel. It lasted but a split second, but I am quite convinced that what I saw was no daydream. It was real. Since that experience, I have felt haunted, like a part of me is still there, stuck in the tunnels. I keep seeing shapes moving at the edges of my vision. I am formally requesting medical leave. Please help me. Good grief. Too spooky, too spooky, too spooky. Oh no, please reload. Four, three, two, okay. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to go out the door. use my fuel efficiently. Oh, this is so bad. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just going this way. That light. I feel like I'm about to get tricked by this light. I feel like I've just gone in a big circle, actually. some lights. Oh, beautiful lights. Oh, safe. Safety. I don't know if I want to keep playing this. Oh my... What in the world? Please lock this door. I don't know if it can come in here. Why am I playing this? <laughs> I... <laughs> oh, I'm being such a coward.
I like your cowardness. Hey, yo, big scary monster. How about you suck my nuts? Huh? You think I'm afraid of you, huh? How about you suck my balls? Eh? You think I'm afraid? Eh? Oh! What did I just do? Did I set off a tripwire? Oh no, I've walked into... Oh, I can, like, light a trail of fire behind me or something to hold it off, probably. That's kind of cool. It sounds... close. I probably will... I probably will go watch the, uh, Devolver soon. I have to manually... You're leaving a blood trail? That might attract certain creatures. Certain creatures? Ah, crap. I left the bandage back there, too. Oh, I can't pull that out. How about you come freaking get some, huh? Oh, a code. Run! No! Freaking easy, dude. Just that simple. Uh, imagine being afraid. Couldn't be me. I made like no progress. <laughs> I didn't get anything out of that. I lit myself on fire, saw a hand peek out, and ran away. <laughs> I got a, a door code. That was about it. Alright, let's go... Uh, Watch this Devolver showcase, huh?